Welcome to an overview of SUSE, MDPI's Manuscript Submission and Editorial System. In this tutorial, you'll learn about SUSE, MDPI's online submission system. We will go over how to access SUSE, how to register an account, how to log in, how to submit a manuscript, and finally, how to navigate the author dashboard. SUSE is a submission system which incorporates various helpful online tools for authors and editors alike. Manuscripts submitted to MDPI journals must be submitted via SUSE, where they will undergo pre-check, peer review, editorial decision-making, English editing, layout, and finally, online publication. Any author wishing to publish in an MDPI journal must create a SUSE account. If you do not yet have an account, you can create one by first accessing SUSE at www.mdpi.com. From here, click the Submit or the Sign In slash Sign Up button located at the top right corner of the screen. This will take you directly to the SUSE login page. Alternatively, you can get to the same page by entering SUSE.mdpi.com in the search bar of your browser. This is the SUSE login page you will be greeted with when you first access the system. Over on the right, you can see some shortcuts to the many services and platforms that MDPI offers to authors, librarians, and academic societies. These include professional English editing, book publication, conference organization, among others. If you have already registered your account, you can log in using your username and password. If this is your first time using SUSE, please click the register button to start the registration process. Registration is fairly straightforward and takes only about 30 seconds. If you happen to experience any problems, please refer to the contact information that you can find at the bottom right of the page. Please click register to continue. For further information, please visit our website. This is the registration page. Please enter all the required information into the relevant boxes and click register with mdpi.com. A confirmation email will then be sent to the email account that you registered with. Please open this email and click the link provided to validate your account. This will open a new tab and you will be taken to the SUSE login page. With this, the registration process is complete. Now that you have successfully registered your account, let's learn how to navigate SUSE and submit your manuscript. When you first open SUSE, you will be asked to edit your profile. You can also register for an ORCID profile or link an already existing one. This information can be updated and changed at any time via the Edit Profile tab. Please enter your details and click Save to continue. This is the SUSE User Menu. On the left, under the User Menu tab is where you will be able to manage your account. You can edit your profile, change your password, or manage your accounts in case you have multiple SUSE accounts. Below the User Menu tab, is the submissions menu where you can submit a manuscript, check your submission history, check for discount vouchers, and download your invoices. There is also a LaTeX word count tool in case you are submitting a manuscript in LaTeX. When you are ready to submit your manuscript to an MDPI journal, click on Submit Manuscript on the submissions menu. On the Submit Your Manuscript page, Please select whether your manuscript has been created using the MDPI template. The layout templates for each journal can be found on their respective journal websites. After this, upload your manuscript, then click Proceed. There will then be a number of steps to follow before submission is completed. Firstly, please select the MDPI journal you wish to submit your manuscript to. Then. Fill in the manuscript details, such as the type of article, the title, and the abstract. 
If you are submitting your manuscript to a specific section or a special issue of the journal, you can find and select it on this screen as well. Fill in all the necessary information in steps 1 to step 5 and please read and agree to the terms and conditions related to open access publication and the terms of use. Once done, click on the Submit and Send to Editors button to complete your submission. Please note that your manuscript can no longer be edited once it has been submitted. However, you will be able to add additional information, such as indicating whether you are affiliated to a university participating in the MBPI Institutional Open Access Program, IOAP, in which case the agreed fee reduction will be applied to your manuscript's article processing charge. Or, make your paper available online through a preprint platform. And even leave notes for our manuscript editors. If you would like to track the progress of all your submissions, please click on the Display Submitted Manuscripts tab. For co-authors, this is available through the Display Co-authored Manuscripts menu. Both tabs will allow you to see at which stage your manuscript currently is in the editorial process. While MDPI does include basic English proofreading in its article processing charges, some manuscripts may need to undergo further English editing. MDPI offers professional English editing services at reasonable cost that can be accessed via this link. You will be taken to a page where you can get a quote for the use of this service and submit your manuscript for English editing. If you have acted as a reviewer for any MDPI journal, on the Discount Voucher tab, you can see your vouchers. These can be applied to your manuscripts to reduce the article processing costs of your submissions to MDPI. This is the voucher code, and next to it, what kind of voucher it is, and the amount that will be subtracted from the final article processing charge. An important thing to note here is that vouchers have an expiration date. Multiple vouchers can be used on a single manuscript. However, vouchers cannot be combined with other discounts such as the IOAP discount for participating universities. Vouchers are also non-transferable but can be applied to any manuscript that you are an author or co-author of. And that concludes this tutorial. We hope this video has given you an overview of the SUSE system. You have learned how to access SUSE, register your account, log in, submit your manuscript, and navigate the author dashboard. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us.